Hey y'all, I'm back with a little small discussion piece. Um, this discussion piece is about uh, Anna here, um, about how there are people that think that her gameplay or her game plan is a bit too much, like they overpowered it. Um, and this came about because I've been in streams, you know, wanted to watch a Rev Major. I had a feeling that Rev Major was going to be um, the better tournament to, you know, actually pay attention to, to watch. And, you know, didn't disappoint. Um, me out the tournament really quick. Chanel out really quick. Um, Anakin, you know, he didn't go really far. Um, so with that being said, um, it was going to be names that we were going to see make a top three possibly that we haven't seen in a while so you know yeah i definitely paid attention and as you know you know our uh, our savior our grace our hero uh kasim uh he did an amazing job with anna uh you know i think he placed a, a fourth fourth place uh i believe which is really good um, for him as a player, he's a strong player. He trains with a TIFF. He trains with Arsenal. Um, I was noticing every time a TIFF was on screen for like top eight in the streams I was in, like everybody was complaining about Anna. They were saying that gameplay is just too much um, to deal with. It's so many knowledge checks, you know, and, and like the rambling. And for someone who plays Anna, like plays her seriously, like, I have a tutorial on this channel. Um, I found that funny. <laughs> because um, I understand hating the character, but to say that their overall game plan is too much, and out of every other character that was on the screen uh, during that tournament, um, like I said, I find that laughable. Like, you know, good luck trying to approach um, what other character. Uh, good luck in general. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Um, uh, don't have a scuffed backdash, you're gonna get launched. And if you can't sidestep on time, you're gonna get clipped. Um, good luck blocking at the wall. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And uh, you don't even know the damn matchup. So, you know, best of luck to you. And a bear in rage is like ridiculously stupid anyway, because you saw, you, you, you saw what range you did. But anyway, Let's um let's pick Anna right quick because you know I ain't gonna keep out here all day you know let's pick a little little outfit here you know let's go to her uh her Tekken two stage I have modest shout out to Above Human even though he took this mod down you know he may not have been feeling it he probably didn't want to update you know I still got it installed so okay um so this is where if you don't play Anna you're gonna call me just the biggest capper ever i don't give a shit because i'm gonna tell you the real why i'm gonna tell you the real because i'm gonna always keep 100 with y'all the only thing they really did that changed this character for the better was in season three now what they did in mid season three was this shit that's it i'm giving y'all time to call me cat okay y'all had enough um, everything else y'all complain about, she's always had. The the range on Wild Standing 2, it was like that from launch. They never touched this Wild Standing 2. Um, how if the Anna just stays full crouch and you're sidestep and she realizes, and that still hits, that was always a thing. Um, the dumb mix up off her down for one two string. Now, this was a minor change. A lot of people are, oh my god, that's a major buff. I mean, it's a. I mean, I see why y'all say that because it's a launcher, and you know it's launcher seven. But previously, before they made the three and down for one, two, three, a launcher. Um, if you challenge that, you know, imagine that was the mid. You just got knocked down, but um, you got knocked down versus Anna. So you know, all Anna has to do is run up and crouch, and you're back in a 50-50 situation. So if you guess wrong, you got launched. And you have to guess wrong on wake up. If you didn't wake up, you know, you still ate you ate something for full crouch, and you still have to wake up and you have to guess against Anna. So 
and I had to do this. And then a little side step down back three that you, you know, if you took forever to get up after getting hit by that full crash power crush, you was gonna get launched anyway. All they did here was make you respect the transition in the CJM. Watch everything after this is reactable. Why? Because this is like, it's mental frames. It's not actual plus frames. On hit, she's minus a lot. Um, and this is kind of like labbing the character, you know, just, you know. Um, she don't carry. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest. Anna doesn't carry. Anna is only as good as the person that's playing her. And Kasimri is like, he is such a strong player that it don't matter who he plays, he's going to give you a hard time. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh -uh. I don't, you have to be really smart with placing um, this slow poke here. Because if you pay attention to how um, pro players play, is like they, for more than, yeah, so pretty much, um, if they don't have a read on it and they don't really know, they're not going to duck. So they're going to let you have whatever command load. They're going to let you have it because it doesn't necessarily do uh, no more than like, you know, 15 to 20 damage. So they're going to just, you know, you know, let you have that unless you get um, predictable with it. But the, with Anna, because you recover crouching, you can't keep like back dashing away from it. You have to uh, sidestep left and then kind of like, you know, deal with it. Um, the trade off that is that, you know, Anna really can't punish you hard until you do something like minus 15. Until you do something um, minus 18 or better from crouch. And if you do a low and, you know, you're fighting Anna and Anna blocks that low. You know, hey, that was always there. If you block, if she, if the, if Anna blocked the low and 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 wife would punish you, that that was always a thing. Always a thing. Always. Um, her being able to launch at um, I fifteen now, you know, that's not really that big of a threat because it only does thirteen damage. Y'all can't complain that Anna does too much damage. Most Annas are doing this combo. You know, 64 damage is too much damage off the off a down for two. You know, you you know, you know, however you want to judge that, you know. And this isn't even 70 damage. Hold on, wait. Yeah, that was 70 to 69 damage. Um uh side step left duck, side step left back dash. Um Sidewalk block, sidewalk back dash. Uh, I'm, I'm giving y'all the tools. I, I just don't think that this character carries the way y'all think she does. And that's and that's and 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 Anna players are gonna agree. We're not downplaying the character. This is the best this character has ever been. Um, however, um, with her strengths, there are still very much so clear weaknesses. And uh, you, you saw Kasim deal with it, um, getting sidewalked. You know he got sidewalked to his back using Anna a lot. Um, he had to deal with the linearity of the character. He had to deal with the fact that you know if you want to do a low, you're launch punishable. You know he he got launched around too. It, the the trade off the trade off is there. Um, like I said, not as stupid as. Most of the characters that that y'all saw this weekend at Rev Major, um, but tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think Anna carries? Does she not carry? Or um, is it that um, if you're a good player, can can Anna carry you without really having to think much since you understand Tekken so well? Y'all tell me what it is. Talk to y'all later. Bye.